Alright lads, welcome back to Hearts of Iron for the Reward and another of these uh, replaying Spear update videos. So, uh, Hooting could not keep it together for the life of him. It's March of 66 and he's already collapsed. And luckily, even though the Boer Republic hasn't actually finished the second um, the second South African uh, civil conflict, I, um, they, they're already joining our sphere, which I believe is probably due to the fact that we actually physically send volunteers rather than just doing the focuses that say that, you know, we're sending volunteers. I'm just quickly going to do this uh, piece of research, bit of research here. We do 66. We'll get that. That's perfect. A memorandum on the Boer Republic from Kai Uwe von Hassel, Realms Protector von Congo, to the leader. Subject developments of the Boer Republic following the resignation of Albert Herzog as a result of internal discontent within the Herztingte National Party HNP due to his closeness with the deceased Realms Commissar Hootig. The Parliamentary Party has designated Peter uh, Willem Botha as his successor. This development is positive insofar as Botha is recognised as the leader of the Germanophile faction in the HNP and has requested through my office the official readmission of the Boer Republic into the Einheit Pact. Boer newspapers have largely attributed Botha's victory to the widespread sympathy that the electorate won, uh, which is all white citizens over 21, still hoards towards the realm for its role achieving Boer independence. This has successfully divorced the image of the reviled Hooting from that of our own as far as they are concerned. Fantastic. So, see, that's interesting. Obviously, the Boers are going to love us, but what about the Anglos in South Africa? That's very, very interesting. To the victor go the spoil sooner or later. Uh, they join the Einheit Pact as well as resolve Rhine as a bundness partner. Fantastic. The Boer Republic rejoins the pact following the collapse of Hans Hooding's Realmstadt. The Boer Republic emerged as one of the few states whose borders and political order were clearly defined. Having re-established ties with the outside world, the state was recognised by most as the legal successor to the Dominion of South Africa. In exchange for said recognition... Wait, hang on. I highly doubt the offence is going to recognise the Boer Republic as being the legal successor. That's weird. In exchange for said recognition and facing mounting internal and international pressure for his collaboration with Hooting, President Herzog agreed to resign with Peter, uh, Pieter Willem Botha being appointed as the new president. For, uh, fiercely Germanophile, uh, memories of the realm's vital role in the South African conflict played a crucial role behind his victory. In fact, right after assuming office, Botha officially requested the Republic's membership of the Einheit Pact be restored, an offer graciously accepted by Germania. Our position in the continent restored. Does that mean we're going to get dragged into the war against the unions of South Africa? Probably. We can join you. That's interesting. You probably got this handled, though, you know. You got loads of troops, yeah. 150,000 men. Uh, speaking of troops, I didn't gut the army as badly. Well, I, I got it in some ways and uh, didn't gut it in others. We've, first of all, we've got uh, a full 24 infantry divisions that I just. We actually used to have 48, but I uh, dis disbanded some of them because I wanted some more equipment but that I didn't want to produce. Um, but we only have six panzer divisions. We don't have any more mobile units other than that because I, uh, I disbanded them all to get some trucks, which we uh, are actually running out of. That's a problem. Yeah. Um, also, uh, Shepanov has unified, as has... That's all of day's work. Uh, yeah, that's all right. Uh, Shepanov with the, the factory situation is unraveling at the moment. We have uh, Shepanov, we have Novosibirsk, Prishkin, we have um, Sverdlovsk, Batov, and we have the West Russian Republic under Shefarevich, Max Shefarevich. Hopefully he'll get the, uh, the Urals as well. Of course, uh, Batov cannot unify with Shefarevich and vice versa, but Novosibirsk and Cheetah can unify, and Shefarevich can unify with either of them, so everything is going to be fine. Uh, what am I here? Yeah, we'll go Guiding Hand. Uh, or should we? Yeah, we'll go Guiding Hand. Just make sure we don't drop below 75 while we're doing it. Yeah, we're fine. Um, so we've just been uh, going through the focus tree. I've done, obviously, just the same stuff here. I actually want to get to the end of this, the perfect plan, because it helps in repatriation of forced laborers. So when we actually get back to where we are of uh, April of 1967, and we may not be entirely through the, um, the Luftwaffe tree anymore and instead have uh, gone through the perfect plan. Yeah. Uh, I'm pro there will probably be a lot of jumping around in this video. Just because, um, well, I don't know, we may be fighting, I may, I may have to fight the Congo Wars off camera, which will be annoying, but hey, it is what it is, because I uh, can't believe Hootig collapsed so fast. Uh, just quickly show off the spheres there. Uh, of course, we got all the Balkans so far, with the exception of Serbia, which hasn't, um, the Battle of Serbia hasn't begun yet. We uh, had to invade, uh, what's his face? Gorbachev. Also, uh, a new guy is here in the Caucasus, Carl Blessing. 
Um, previously, uh, it was just a blank portrait with a guy called Martin Wagner. So, luckily, uh, that is not the case. Of course, Thatcher's here, England and Wales. Ireland's here, they just crushed uh, Paisley. These are the spheres, looking very, very nice. Ah, they went over. That's perfectly around 10 anyway. Uh, where was I? Yeah. I'm holding off on doing a lot of the operations until we get more research done. But yeah, that's this is fantastic. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, the Wehrmacht returns to Africa. The arrival of the Kriegsmarine at Cape Town was the occasion for much fanfare in the former capital city of South Africa, having seen no foreign ships for the duration of the realm staff existence. Oh, yeah, that we will bury you. That's fucking stupid. I hate how they try to shoehorn in, like, our timeline, uh, c like, uh, phrases and comments and, uh, you know, quotes. Like, we will bury you is a... Uh, was, was said um, by Nikita Khrushchev to, I believe it was JFK, but um, it's it's misinterpreted. It's not, we will bury you in the sense of, um, like, we're going to kill you all. It's, it's in the sense of socialism burying capitalism as, like, the next stage of human development. But it was misinterpreted, and then it was like, oh! Anyway, uh, what was I? So for the duration of the Realmstadt's existence, the white citizens of the town came out in droves to watch the German task force ceremonially escort the large commercial convoy from Hamburg into the port. Just quickly check the recorder, make sure all is well. Indeed, it is fantastic. Uh, as many anxious onlookers were permitted to come aboard the fleet. Flagship the Adler had, that's the one we built at the start of the game. Um, uh, which its captain boasted was the last warship commissioned by Adolf Schickelgruber himself, yeah. The many other vessels in the formation began to unload military equipment onto the docks after a few hours. I'll just quickly do something there. There we are. Back all through. I think so, not yet. Do that. There we are. Uh, da -da -da. After a few hours, the 2,000 men of Abteilung Wolfgang Schenk. Ah, cool. They named it after him. The only... Well, well himself and... Uh, what's his face? Muller were good rounds, commissars. Uh, paraded through the streets before departing for Johannesburg the next morning. Meanwhile, the naval personnel set about refurbishing the abandoned Simonstown naval base for the Kriegsmarine. Or for use by the Kriegsmarine. At the same time as the highly publicised arrival of German troops in the Boer Republic takes place, Luftwaffe transport planes continue to arrive at the, at the Leopoldville airport, delivering over 20,000 troops over the course of a week. These brave sons of the realm will serve as the guardians of the much reduced Central African administration, ensuring that no local power will ever dare attempt an attack against us. Um, at OKV headquarters, there is much rejoicing. The realm's presence in the dark continent has been re-established, ensuring a major propaganda victory for the regime, which can now effectively claim that victory. Any South African conflict was indeed worth the price. Yes, it is. Hey, Safari, indeed. Ah, here come the bloody uh, Australians. Funnily enough, the uh, Carnarvon Defence League, uh, Lesotho, as well as Swaziland, actually, um, they actually do enter the second South African civil conflict, but only if uh, Hooting's Puppet is doing really well. I think Hooting's Puppet has to knock out um, either the Boer Republic or the South African Liberation Front in order for them to join. Ah, huh, Bulgaria has, has indeed joined the conflict, that's funny. Uh, that's, uh, let's get that. Yeah, that's fine. You sweep in there from the uh, from the west. Not actually moving though. Heart turned black. Oh yeah. Also, um, since um, like we had an option of like aiming for the center in order to uh, like cross Antifa. This time, I decided to um, to like spread the rot to like the, the outer fringes and then that and travel to the body or whatever it is. But uh, yeah, that's this event with um, with Antifa. So I'll, I'll just let you read that because I'm done reading about those events. Oh, very nice. Allies with economic benefits. This is about uh, Africa. NSDAP memorandums, uh, starting with the words the Frankfurt Stock Exchange, are rarely the harbinger of good news, but today the, f the leader found to his surprise things were different. It seemed as if in the aftermath of the realm's triumphant return to Africa, Germany's financier class had lost little time. Deutsche Bank stocks were soaring after it was revealed that the Borg government had nationalised the De Beers Mining Corporation, formerly property of notorious small hat Harry Oppenheimer, and then rapidly sold it to the Deutsche Afrikanische Burr... Oh, there we go. Yeah, we'll be entering the uh, the Congo Wars fairly sharpish. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, well, oh, you don't still have Hooting's Three, do you? Oh, you do still have Hooting's Three. Oh no, that's terrible. Uh, anyway, where was I? Uh, had the real uh, 
to the Deutsche Afrikanische Berbaugesellschaft, uh, itself a subsidiary of Deutsche Bank and by extension of Herman J. Abs. However, Abs was far from the only one making his move. Already, Mercedes cars were becoming the preferred and indeed the only choice of South, uh, of South African motorists. Siemens stocks, too, were up as orders to standardise the board governance. Electronic machines proved a major boost. In Congo, the return of the corporations had provoked an economic boom as ties with Katanga were re-established and profits from managing a hydropower returned. Katanga. Uh, where Katanga? Zambia. There it is, Katanga. Yeah, you're led by a mercenary. Um, where was I? Uh, the report concluded with a reassuring statement to the effect that even if the corporate bug men themselves were reprehensible, their newfound sources of profits would trickle down back to the realm's economy and the government's coffers. The leader put the memorandum away with a smile on his face. There could be such a thing as a good day in politics. Blood money, but money nonetheless. Our GDP growth will increase by 0.5%. Good for us. Very good for us. Tax hike. 53 billion. Yeah, even with those extra units, we were still making a lot of money. I had 48 infantry divisions and we were still making a 50 billion a year surplus. Troops don't cost very much when you don't really look after them. It's all fine, it's all fine. Yeah, heart turn black, I'll just let you read that away yourselves. Guiding hand, yeah, get that finished so we can keep going. Oh shit, that wasn't the Australians, that was the Canadians. Yeah, that was the Canadians, my bad. My bad to the Canadians. Yeah, these are the Australians. A fucking lot of them, too. Uh, yeah, let's do Europe's dreams. Now, I'll just go down here, make sure we'll, we can hold us, yeah. You know what, I'm actually gonna, I am actually gonna join your conflict. Why won't you accept? Boer War has gone on too long. Maybe some of our other allies will be arriving? I don't think so. Are you moving? There we are. I'm doing it that way. Perfect. Now I'm going to send my air force down. I'm not sending the uh, the army. Air force should be able to do it. More reformist. No, bad. Bad. Do you have a description? No. To have control of state, what? I was going to say what. Anyway, here we are. We are here supporting the. Uh, oh, we actually have more aircraft. Good. Good jet tactical bomber. Very nice. Oh, uh, this is probably. These are probably the aircraft that we got off of uh, Dernitz. Those aircraft should really kind of swing things in our favor. Oh, yeah, they're doing serious damage. Serious damage. Oh, there goes, uh, yeah. The benevolence of spear reveals itself. That's fine. Here comes the uh, Congo conflict. This is about Africa. Top secret eyes, only 12 members of the Ramsnack, Richtendienst, former territory of the German African colonies. Yeah, the situation in Africa is, to put it lightly, disastrous. The conflict that had occurred between the realm's colonial entities and South Africa has left infrastructure devastated, communications torn apart, and the population agitated. This was massively compounded by Hans Hutig, who annexed the other two colonies and began perpetrating a campaign of overt repression. That's, that's putting it lightly. This completely alienated anyone that could even consider collaboration with the government and quickly led to mass famine and mass unrest. Hooting's government has utterly collapsed. The loyalist elements of our administration have gathered in and around the city of Leopoldville. Oh, excuse me. The territory, uh, 
historically encompassing the Congo region has declared independence, although they have been immediately been brewed into a civil conflict. The rest of Hooting's former holdings can be described as no less than anarchic. We have managed to establish communication with the German remnant in Leopoldville and the R&D urges the realm to send funding in order to keep them alive and quickly as the possibility of revolt is rising by the day. In the fires of slaughter, still do the perpetrators remain. We'll now be able to uh, intervene on their side. Send them one volunteer unit, get them on tactical issues, get them on defeat from the jaws of victory. We probably can't send you volunteers because we're, yeah, we're, we're currently fighting in the, fec the feckin' Boers. Or, or not the Boers, the South Africans. The, the non-Boer South Africans. Yes. Do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. Perfect. Let's hope you win. We've got a lot of troops to do. Things do seem to be wrapping up here because of our overwhelming air support. With the help of our overwhelming air support. Alright, keep going, keep going. Da, 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 what am I going to get? All good here, get naval tech, yeah. Go. Oof, just aircraft doing work. If you're moving, you should probably move. You're retreating, though. Damn. Aircraft so powerful, we got light infantry beating tank divisions. Soon enough, now this will wrap up. Oof, very nice. Keep pushing. That's the Ireland thing. That's perfect. You rejoin the Zodrine, even though you automatically do that when you win, uh, anyway. How much is our, is our aircraft helping here? If you can cut off that port, that'll be a massive disaster for the governments of Canada and Australia. To have their divisions stranded there like that, probably surrender, humiliated. That'll be massive. Humiliate the old man, do it. Ooh, very nice. Also, I've decided on a new infrastructure plan. Um, I'm upgrading all of my allies before I upgrade myself. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Because the Realms Schnellfar Strecken program will do that for myself, uh, will do that for me anyway. Um, whereas no one's going to upgrade my allies except me because, you know, the, uh, the AI has no intention of improving themselves. So we've already upgraded massively, upgraded Bulgaria, already massive, uh, massively upgraded uh, Slovakia as well as Hungary. And uh, now we're doing the same with Ireland, England, we'll do the same with all the colonies, all of our allies, and then we'll do ourselves what, what hasn't already been upgraded by the Realms Schnell Fire Strecken program. Your streams, very nice. Oh, much to give. How, how is uh, this going? How, I didn't actually cheat either, just in case you think I did. I've been doing things legitimately. I'll do that. There we are. Button here. Obviously, I have the Realm Snell Far Striking program on 16 production units. Yeah, it's 26% uh, of the way there. Fantastic. Ooh, where's this one going? Have our allies arrived there yet? No, no. Though the English are on the way! Ha <laughs> Cool. Very cool. Oh, that's very weird. The English are going to help the Boers. <laughs> what? What, cur what a cursed timeline. England helping the Boers. Oh my god. Oh, and you're moving in to take the port. Fantastic. They're already encircled. Cross them if you could. I suppose Italian brutality in Korsk. I don't want to do that because it'll lower their opinion of me and I do want to be on their good side. Because I do want to help restore the... Hello, German Alliance. Packed of steam. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, there we are. And that's all she wrote. 
fantastic. Good work, everyone. I'll mark you for upgrading next. Though, to be fair, I think I'll uh, tag over and annex this for you because I don't like the, I don't like how ugly it is. Yeah, we'll just let it uh, tick over a little bit first. Now, now, yes, I'm supposed to be helping you, aren't I? Ooh, and they are advancing into your territory. I should help you. Uh, how many can I send? One. Guaranteed now, the fucking, the bloody, the bloody Congo state probably has like two or three massive mechanized armored American divisions, and all I get to see is, all, all I get to send is one bloody division. Ridiculous. Unimore? No. That's gonna have to be the most amazing division ever made. Artillery, artillery. Artillery. Yeah, this really crept up on me. Can't believe who'd collapse so fast. Uh, what am I doing? Yeah. Field, field. Oh, jeez. Uh, engineers. Engineers, support artillery. There we are. Now, one of you, come that. Set aside here. We got Fritz Berlin in charge. Send you off. Definitely have an airbase. 40. Oh, you do have a lot of aircraft of your own, though. That's good. That's very good. How many aircraft do you have? A lot. Very nice. You probably already have supremacy. I'll send you. I'll send you some uh, cats. So fantastic. Uh, yeah. So where do you go? Can I send you? Really now, here we go. Bomb. Oh, here. That's fantastic. Oh, oh, yeah. To be fair, our units haven't. Why aren't, why aren't, why aren't your units moving? What the fuck? You are in a war, you know. You are at war. Probably be a good idea if your units moved. Cheskov's demands lower draft. One year draft, no problem. And that's all the economy stuff done. That's fine. Hmm. So yes, yeah, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to work down here. Um, do all this stuff. And um, and then just work on the army tree as usual. Uh, this, this is a longer update video, but it was a good one because a lot of stuff happened. See you uh, next episode, which I don't intend on making any more of these uh, sphere update videos. Um, but hey, who knows, I might have to. Next time you should be hearing my voice is when uh, we're back uh, in April of 67, ready to uh, pick up where we left off. Pick up where we left yeah. See you then.